We got a whole freaking dragon setting the house on fire. <laughs> oh my God, I have so much homework. This thing is heavy. I forgot to finish today's homework, so I'm gonna just burn it. <laughs> oh, our farts could set the whole freaking car on fire. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, the car exploded. With just one touch, I can set that big booty on fire. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I summoned the CC no no demon instead. <laughs> Have you ever just woke up the next morning and be like, ah oh, man, it's Monday again and I have to go to school. But the best way to skip school is to tell your dad you're sick. I'm gonna go tell my father that I'm sick, but hopefully he's back with the milk. Father, I am feeling unwell. It will be crazy for me to go to school because I don't want to be a potential D these nuts spreaders at school. May I suggest staying at home instead? He's taking my temperature. 97 degrees. Yo, that's good to go home. Like, stay home. You are okay. Get ready for school. I'll be here if you need me. Dang it. I need to find a way to convince him. Hmm. Oh, I know. If I turn off the lights in my bedroom, my body temperature will go up and father will allow me to stay. Let's get it. We're going to turn on all the lights in our room. Ooh, our body's getting hotter. Here you go. Let's see if our father will let us stay home. Come on. 98 degrees. Sheesh. It's a bit more than before, but nothing to worry about. Go to school. I need more heat. Okay, we need we need to blaze it up in here. Let's turn on every light inside the house. Mm, turn on this light. <laughs> uh, turn on the living room house. And another one here. And then inside the car garage. Sheesh, it's getting super hot. The restroom lights too. And I think our dad's bedroom. And that should do it. All right, father, go ahead and take my temperature again. 99. That's hot. You're fine. Go have breakfast and take a bath. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, father. I'm going to eat the hottest thing I can find. Let's see what we got in the kitchen. Ooh, some cocoa yum. But I'm going to need a cup. Oh, there's a cup. Pick up this cup. Make some nice hot cocoa to increase my body temperature. We're going to need to make it super hot. Busting in the microwave. <laughs> Let it cook. Ooh, we cooking. Take a little slip. Ooh, it made our body temperature hot, but I ain't feeling too good. Oh, I need to hit the toilet. <laughs> oh, much better. <laughs> we bust the toilet. I think we clogged it. <laughs> Turn on the bathtub. It's a nice hot tub now. Make a body temperature go all the way three degrees higher. Sheesh. Now our father really got to let us stay home. Father, I must request kindly take my temperature again. Ah, come on. 104 degrees. Bro, that's unreal. No problem here. You must go to school. Go change your clothes. Mine. All right, father, I will. I'm about to put on everything. <laughs> Put on a jacket, sweater, beanie. Gonna make myself nice and warm. Ooh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating some bow sack right now. Father, I sincerely believe. Yes, I know your temperature. Yeah, man, I'm sweating some bow sacks right now. Some bows. 105 degrees? Dude. See, you are not sick. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, dear. This is harder than I thought. Turn on the stove and every faucet with the hot water Ooh, we wasting electricity bills <laughs> some water bills i feel bad but the things you do just to stay home you know have you guys ever tried to stay home from school and like fake sick before because i've done that a few times turn on the stove oh it's on fire Ow! what do you think our father's gonna think about this he how does he not know how does he not feel the heat? 126? You were fine. Go now. What the heck? What else can I do? Oh, I know. The fireplace. We're gonna take our homework. I'm done, bro. I didn't even do my homework. Guess what? Who cares? Oh, this homework is heavy. 
I hate doing homework. I mean, it's good for you, but like, man, bro, ain't nobody trying to do extra work. That's what school is for, you know? Put in the fire. Ooh, nice and toasty. I'm gonna go tell father I'm sick. Yeah. <laughs> 135? That's hot. That's beyond normal. Put a fork in the microwave. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Look at this. I got a metal fork and we're gonna stick inside the microwave. Oh man, what's gonna happen? <gasps> Dude, the microwave caught on fire. It exploded. 153? You were not sick? That's crazy. My body would explode and cook internally. I need more heat. Burn the car. All right, daddy. I don't need you to take me to school because I take the school bus anyway. You ain't gonna have no transportation after this, all right? Put all this gasoline juice on it. Gonna light it up. Oh! <laughs> we light it up with a fart. We can set a car with the gasoline on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it blew up the car <laughs> he ain't gonna be able to use this car afterwards 207 degrees you have to go to school what bruh burn the trees surrounding your garden dang i'm about to set up the whole neighborhood on fire <laughs> i don't know if this is a good idea but with one touch I can set that booty on fire. <laughs> 387 degrees? Bro! Go to school, you must. Dude, why is my dad so strict on me? Goodness gracious. Fill up the pool with lava. All right, that's it. I didn't want to do this, but I'm about to go to the, the pool area. Mighty Dinus Master of Flames, I beseech thee, hear my prayers. Ow! Oh! I summon the CC no no demon at night. What's up? Oh, I implore thee, my grace is humble. Heat the pool of a thousand suns. <laughs> what? Please fill my pool with lava. Dang, I really sold my soul to the demon. Okay, gotcha, bro. Oh my god, he did it! He put lava inside the pool. Okay, bye. Oh, ain't no way! What happened? He disintegrated. That just made it a thousand plus degrees. I'ma swim. Oh, what the freak? My body is gonna be super hot after this. We swimming. Let's head back to the house. All right, father. It's a thousand plus degrees after this. I was swimming inside the lava. A thousand eight hundred. My goodness, that's a lot of fever. Yep, yep. Let's go. Is that so, father? Wait, no. I misread that. You're fine, actually. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? I don't even know what to say. I'm so bamboozled, I can't even think of anything to increase my temperature. Maybe there's something on the TV that can help me? All right, let's check the TV. Need less heat? Fantastic, bruh. Ice to see you. Nice. Aisha, is your house on fire? Nah, bro. we don't need no fire department. Did you miss your school bus? It's not too late. Bruh, ain't nobody trying to go back to school. Call us to hire a dragon and burn your house. Oh, this sounds perfect. I'm gonna give them a call. Three, two, one, four, five, six. <laughs> Please pick up. Oh, I'm getting a call. Okay, children, we have an important work to do. Ride on my back and we'll do this work together. Oh, wait. <laughs> The dragon flew by. It actually worked. This commercial is real. <gasps> oh, he blazing some fire in the house right now. Yay! The house gonna be on fire. <laughs> the work is finished. Now we can go back to the daycare and continue reading the book. <laughs> Yay. Bro, that just plus 3000 degrees. This place is on fire. You don't see this father? 5,472 degrees. There's nothing to worry about. All right, this boy crazy. That's why you bow hit it. I did not want to do this. That's it, but you leave me no choice, father. This is my last resort. Pull the sun closer with a rope. 
But my type of rope is something else. <laughs> so it comes to this. <laughs> Sheesh! I pulled this rope outside of my pants. You forced me to do this, father. This is it. I... Won't... Go to... Come on. School! <laughs> I think we pulled the sun so close to the earth. Our eyes are burned. Are we dead? Oh my gosh, it's over 9,000. The earth is on fire. Father, what is my temperature? 15,372 degrees. That's crazy. Oh dear, you were right all along. You do have a mouth fever. Bruh, I guess you can stay home today. But at what cost? All right, father. But at what cost? Yes, yes. Good ending. Bro, the earth blew up. Was that really a good ending though? Well, at least she did not go to school. Okay, but if you head to the school bus and you try to go to school instead of staying home, it will ask you like, are you sure you really want to go to school? Like super mega hyper sure. It's going to be a boring ending. And then you hold it down for a hundred seconds and you get this ending. And the school bus happens to show up and we just go to school <laughs> and we got the bad ending you went to school how boring and over here if i were to spy on my dad while he's by himself my child finally left for school what was wrong with them today they kept insisting that they wanted to stay home but i i just i I really just need some time alone. I cannot let them see me like this. He has been very strict these last days. I do not wish to see him upset any further. Hmm. May I know? I will go spend my day with mother. I shall give her a flower. Ooh, this pink one looks good. Deliver the flower to mother. So we're gonna take the hidden route, which is in between the forest. We might get a little bit lost. It does start to get a little bit foggy. I. It's the only way though. I don't want to get caught. Oh, there's our mother's tombstone. Hello, mother. I have brought you a beautiful flower. I miss you, mother. <gasps> Is that her father? Yo, what's our dad doing here? Why aren't you at school? <sighs> father, I... <sighs> I am not handling the grief very well. I miss mother too much. Going to school in this state is simply unproductive. It felt unwise to upset you even further. This is why I came. I couldn't go to school nor stay home. Is our father crying? Oh, I am so sorry, father. I did not mean to make you angry. I, I will go to school now. I apologize for my behavior. He's walking up. Father? No, don't call me father. Stop being so formal. Call me dad. Aw, dad. My child, I can't do this anymore. All this time, just like you, I've been overwhelmed by grief. It all happened so quickly. It just felt like we had to move on as if nothing happened. I thought that I had to be a strong dad and to not let grief get the best of me. At that moment, I assumed that's what she had wanted. However, now I see how things truly are. I am not ready to move on yet, and neither are you. But that's okay, because we can go through this together until we are ready to go back to our regular lives. I think that's what she have actually wanted. My child. I am so sorry if I haven't been as good as a dad as you needed. I promise I will try to make up for it. Oh, they're hugging. Now, let's stay home today and I'll call your teacher to tell him you're sick. Thank you, dad. I hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching.